Mommy and Marley. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm getting ready for bed. She's getting ready to jump in the shower. She's getting home from cheer. But tomorrow is our Chipotle fundraiser. And I know many of you have asked questions about her therapy dog, like um, what is it gonna do for her? How much does it cost? And less kind of stuff. So I'm going to paint just a little puppy dog face on Marley before we throw her in the shower and um, kind of give you guys some information about how we came to um, deciding that we wanted to apply for a therapy dog and those kind of things. So let me get started on her Why we just chit chat, okay? All right, Marley, face this way. You gotta look at mommy first. Okay, so um, we have been to lots and lots and lots of doctors um, concerning Marley's special needs and um, been on many medications, which she, yes, she still is on a few, but have kind of narrowed down some of them because some of them made some really yucky um, side effects for her. So we're off of those. But I just kept praying and kept praying and I was like, Lord, you know, show us your will. Let us, um, our steps, you know, may, let you order our steps. And we just want to do what's right for her. And all these medications are making her worse. It's taking away one symptom and bringing forth something else. So um, even though she's on a couple of medications that are finally like even out now, there was a couple that were really bad. So doctor appointment after doctor appointment after doctor appointment, we just kept um, kept going, just one appointment after another. And they just wanted to put on you know all these different meds. And, and so I was kind of like, well, you know, I just don't know what to do. I just kind of push them up, baby. I kind of, I'm going to put a tongue on them here. So I kind of wanted to um, just kind of take a break, you know, and just see, you know, what, don't move, she's trying not to laugh, don't move. Um, I just kind of wanted to see, maybe I just wasn't being still, you know, maybe I just wasn't listening. And so I just kept praying and I called on a few of my great prayer warriors of my girlfriends and just said, you know, will you please pray for um, us and pray for Marley and, you know, if God gives you, you know, any words or any visions or something, please share it with me. So, um, a friend of mine said, you know, I've been praying for Marley for a long time. So I'm trying to dry it out. Liquid lipstick. And it doesn't go right here. Uh, well, it's going to be your tongue. Just wait till I'm done. Okay. Masterpiece. I like to make a dog. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and so, um, she had prayed multiple times for Marley. And so, Oh, I'm going to need a darker one. And so I was thinking, okay, well, she was saying, I have a word for you. And I was like, okay. And she said, God physically took your heads, yours and Jamie's. You guys were walking one path, which I know that path was going through all these doctors and all these medications. And he physically came down and took your heads and turned it because we were going the complete opposite way from where he wanted us to go. So... I don't know what that meant at the time. I was kind of like, okay, well, so then now my, you know, my mind is enlightened and I kept searching his word and I kept praying and I was thinking, all right, well, where's this going to go? What are we going to do? And, um, just kind of seeing what he was saying to us. And, um, somebody reached out to me less than a week later, like maybe in five days and just said, Hey, have you ever thought about having a therapy dog for Marley? And, um, I was like, no, I thought therapy dogs were more for, or service dogs were more for, um, you know, handicapped, deaf, blind, you know, that's just what I'm thinking. I've, I've seen them like in a school for like autistic children or, um, like in hospitals and that kind of stuff. But I didn't realize that you could, you personally could have a therapy dog, you know, with somebody with um, special needs like Marley. So I was like, okay, well, let me look into it. So I looked into it. Okay. Stay really still. So I looked into it and I just read a lot and I prayed a lot and um, I thought, well, there was this one company that kind of caught my eye and I started um, researching more about it and it seemed like a good company and we had to have tons and tons of referrals, doctors. I mean, this to, to get a therapy dog like this, you have to have doctor referrals. And we have three. Yeah, nice we nice. had, <laughs> it's going to be your puppy dog smile. Um, we had doctors recommend this. We had teachers recommend this. We had just family members, you know, and we had some people that weren't on board. Some people are like, you're crazy. What are you doing? Well, sometimes God asks you to do crazy stuff and you just do it because he's God and he's bigger than any of those people that have said things like that. So we just kept trucking on. I took in those opinions, 
And believe me, it brought in a lot of doubt thinking, what am I doing? I, I can't take on one more thing. I've got so much to do already. So um, I was like, okay. So after all that, we finally got a letter saying that we were accepted and that we could get a therapy dog from Marley with the fat price tag of $6,000. So what will this therapy dog do for her? After Okay. Wait, I'm done, can I get your eyes? She just has to do me after we're done. Sure, honey. Love her. You have to love her. Okay, um, so what this dog will do for her is this dog will do um, commands specifically for Marley. This dog will be Marley's dog. This is not a family pet. This is not um, Rover come and lay on my lap or let's go for a walk. This is going to personally be Marley's dog. This is um, a, an extra set of eyes in our house because that was the thing that terrified me. I was like, I don't need one more thing to take care of. You know, like, of course I'm going to feed it and water it and, you know, water it like it's a plant. I'm going to feed it and give it water and stuff, but she's actually going to learn to do that. They are going to train her to be the handler. So I will be the other eyes, you know, why she's going through the training, but um, that's just something it's going to do. What you guys, some of the things that you don't know is like, um, Marley's always had really, really bad ear infections, but she doesn't know how to communicate when it comes to like pain levels and stuff. So we would put her to bed and then two or three hours later, we could hear sobbing coming from her room and we're like, why is she sobbing? And I would go in there and the poor darling would have 104 temperature and be crying. And I would say, what's the matter? And instead of saying my ears hurt, she would just say, I don't know, I'm sad. So I would take her to the doctor because she had a fever and she would have a massive ear infection. So just the communication. Um, it's just going to help her like in the middle of the night, like if she were to cry or, you know, have some communication that she needs to communicate with us, the dog will let us know. Um, we've had a, a couple incidents where um, she's playing outside and I can be at the window, you know, just um, watching her and she'll be just wandering off. And when I say, where are you going? She says, I don't know. So this dog will be with her at all times out there. And if she tries to wander or something, it will bring her back. And or bark to let us know, and we always just make sure that she is, you know, safe. Like look at that! Okay, close your mouth and look at the camera. Does she kind of look like a puppy dog? She kind of. We need a little bit more black on that lip. So that's another thing the dog will do. Also, um, one of the disorders Marley has is Tourette's, and that's not just um, like cussing. <laughs> It's not like shallow howl where the lady just gusses all the time, that stuff. Um, just ticking, and she does mouth ticks along with some other ticks, and she's on medication for that, which helps her a lot. Um, but they sometimes we bite our fingernails until they bleed, um, just out of nervousness and um, just just because. Um, Is that like so if she's doing that, um, the dog will actually like come up and like, bump her arm, like if her hands are up here in her mouth, the dog will like bump her arm and like interrupt it. So what it is is to make her more confident, to make her more successful as she can be, to um, just encourage her and to make friends easy because that's hard and to do lots of amazing things that we are hopeful that as scared as I was, God asked us to go on this journey. So I'm just putting one foot in front of the other, other and just um, trusting that He's going to be faithful. He always is. He's never let us down. We've adopted three times. Every single time it's been overwhelming with fundraisers and what are we going to do and this is ever going to happen. And Satan, just like a lion, just, you know, creeps right in and gives us all that doubt. But um, we are very, um, we are very confident that um, this is going to be, you know, what is going to help her be successful and to be confident. And um, we just pray that you guys would support us. We, we appreciate everybody and we are so grateful for people that already have. Um, if you have any more questions, please let us know. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little blurb about what this will do for her. There's much, much more to deal with this, which I won't mention in front of some ears, just, um, to keep confidence up if you understand what I'm saying. So, um, if you have any more questions, I am an open book. I'm more than happy to answer your questions as much as I know. Some of the stuff I'm still learning too. It's just a journey. And, um, I think that's it. So Marley, what do you think of your puppy face? Good. Good, yeah. <laughs> Can I do your makeup? Oh, she wants to do my makeup now. You probably shouldn't watch that video. It'd probably be a lot more entertaining. 
So tomorrow night, Chipotle and Blue Springs from 4 to 8 p.m., um, there is a flyer that you have to either show on your phone or print out and bring. And when you check out, you show it to them. And then we get half of what, whatever your order is. So if your order is 20 bucks, we get 10. So that's amazing because most companies do not do that. So I hope and pray that there's a huge long line. I pray God shows up and shows off. I know he's going to show up, but I just pray that he shows off like, hey, you, you trusted me and I'm going to show off. Um, so I think that's it. If you don't have, I have posted it everywhere. It's on Facebook. It's on Twitter. It's Marley is hashtag praying for Mar, if you don't already know that. So if you follow us on Twitter, it just gives updates about doctor's appointments and some other things that are coming up to help support her. And um, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, um, Facebook, and on YouTube. And so you can see I've put the Chipotle thing on every single social media I possibly know how and asked to share it. So hopefully the line is out the door. I'm sorry if it's cold. I'm sorry if it's long. I'm so sorry. But remember, you are helping us. You are helping her to be successful. And I just pray that God blesses you in return for supporting us. Have a great night. I love you. Can you tell them bye? Bye. Look right there. There's the camera right there. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> God bless.